Hello everybody, the DVD update here again with another DVD update. Uh, I got quite a bit uh, here, so we'll just get around started so it's not that long. We got Evan Almighty. Um, I like Steve Carell, he is awesome. And um, this was pretty funny. Not as funny as Bruce Almighty, but still funny enough. Uh, it has deleted scenes, outtakes, animals on the set 2x2, two two, Animal Roundup the game, Steve Carell unscripted, the architects of Noah, um, and much more. You know, it was, it was a good, uh, I liked it. That's, that's about all I can say about it. It was pretty funny. It was not the funniest thing known to man because, of course, uh, Bruce Almighty was funnier. But, um, like I said, Steve Carell was awesome. Uh, if, you have, if you like dramas... Which I'm not really the, mo the the person that likes dramas a lot, but Dan in Real Life was also very good. I'm planning on getting that um, sometime soon. Uh, the next one, um, the next one I wanted to see in theaters, but it just, it did, I guess not that many people went to see it, so it only it, it went out pretty quickly. And um, I saw Cool Duder had it, and so I decided to go ahead and get it because uh, I like Jamie Kennedy, and that's a uh, Kicking It Old School. I watched this the other day, and Yes, thumbs up. It's pretty. It's it's good. It, it really has an '80s feel. I mean, when the credits roll, it shows his room in the '80s, and um, uh, I still have most of those toys in my basement. So, you know, I'm I'm a, kid, a child of the '80s. Well, not really a child of the '80s, but I, I grew up with '80s toys. I was born in '85, so, you know. But um, it was it was a good movie. Uh, I don't know what other, what uh, had Jamie Kennedy and, and uh, Maria Menounos or something, and I've seen her in a couple of things, and she's extremely hot, which always which is a good thing, but um, it's pretty good it's a pretty good thing because uh, when it's when it's in the 80s and it shows his um, uh, the guy that like makes fun of him and tries to steal his girl, I mean they got that down to a T. Um, of what, you know, uh, uh, bullies and jerks looked like in 80s movies. I mean, it was just awesome. So, it was over all, all around good stuff. It has uh, the guy from Juana Man in it, and that one Ernest movie, that one black guy. And it has a fat, uh, another guy I've never seen him before, but he's pretty funny. And it has the guy from, uh, I don't remember if it's Mad TV, uh, the Asian guy from Mad TV, or is he from Saturday Night Live? I think it's from he's from Mad TV. But... It only has 12 deleted scenes in a theatrical trailer for special features, but it's still a good movie. You should pick it up. Um, in a deleted scene, it's like six minutes. Um, there's a lot of 80s star cameos, like um, Eric Estrada from Chips. Uh, in the movie, there's... Uh, uh, lost my train of thought there for a second. I, I wrote down the names, but I, I didn't put I didn't put the list here. It's just better. These things go better unscripted, I think, even though there are long pauses and loss of thoughts like mine. But um, there's a lot of 80 cameos, 80 person people's cameos. There's a, so you know definitely pick that out. Uh, check that out. Peep it out as well. I was gonna say, but I kind of messed that one up. Okay, next is Disturbia. This uh, I saw in theaters. This is a really really good um. Good movie. I didn't. I didn't know if it would be that good, being PG-13 and being a horror thriller, but it really worked out well, and I, and I like it. I saw it in the theaters, um, and a lot of a lot of the stuff that's coming out nowadays is all remakes, anyways. And I really hate remakes. The only one I really liked was um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. That that was that was great. But um, it's a really good movie. Uh, so if you're into uh, horror thrillers, definitely uh, peep that out. Check that out. It's a pretty good flick. Next up, um, uh, where is it? Four film favorites. The horror... I was going to get the Stephen King one, but I already own two out of the four Stephen King movies that they have in there. So I got this one instead because I don't own any of these. It comes with... Uh, let's see what we got here. Wolfen, Body Snatchers, Coma, and Bad Moon. Now the only one I've got to uh, got to um, see thus far is uh, Body Snatchers here. Body Snatchers. 
And so, it was alright. You know, I liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. I think it was the one from 93 or something. Um, a lot of people didn't like it. I know there's a ton. Of, there's been like, what, five movies or something for the body, Invasion of the Body Snatchers or whatever. A lot of people didn't like it. And I even ended up liking it, but not knowing why the hell I liked it. Because a bunch of parts, um, you know, it's kind of weird. I was like, did I like that? And I'm like, yeah, I like that. And it's for some unknown reason. But I, pretty soon I'll be watching Wolfen and Coma and uh, Bad Moon. I haven't seen any of those. But I'll get around to watching those anyway. Oh, and another thing, if you buy these, there are two discs. But as you know, there's four movies. So you get this stupid crap of the double-sided thing that everybody hates. You know what? I've never met one person in my life that have liked those double-sided discs. You know, sometimes they put full screen on one side, widescreen on the other. And sometimes, like in this case, they put one movie on one side and one movie on the other side. I've never in my life met one person that liked those discs. And I'm trying to wonder, and I'm, I kind of wonder, I mean, I know it's convenient and everything and it's cheaper, but if no one likes it, then why do they keep doing it? I don't know. Maybe no one complains to the actual company or something. But uh, next... Um, my friend gave me, and it's kind of in crud condition, just the box and everything, because it was from a, a rental place, kind of like Blockbuster or Hollywood Video, except a local rental place. So, you know, it's kind of, the box is kind of cracked up, but it's, but it's Entourage Season 1. I watched the first couple of, uh, the first couple of, uh, episodes when they, um, when they aired on TV... But, um, that was it. I, I liked it. So, my friend let me have it. Keep it. Uh, the, even though it's, it, it's from a rental place and things of that nature and the box is crudded up, this are actually in pretty great condition. And they don't skip or anything. But I've only seen one episode, so, you know, when I finish watching uh, the season, uh, I'll, let, I'll let you know how I think, but, what I think, but it's, pre it's pretty good so far. I like that. Plus, I like that Jeremy Piven. That guy's good. Okay, another thing he bought from a rental store, or from the rental store on sale, and then gave to me because I was like, um, I was talking about wanting to want to check these out, is um, Home Improvement Season One. And uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's, I mean, it was pretty good. I don't know yet. I have not watched any of these. On, I never watched this when it first came out. I did watch, I've watched reruns every once in a while because they air them like non-stop on TBS and the like, but um, it's, a, it's three discs, but I haven't watched it yet, you know, but I plan on watching that too. I got a bunch of crap to watch. I'll probably watch the season sets before any of the movies though because um, I don't have a lot of time, you know, I, I, have, to, I have to, it's kind of weird. I have to do things, and so watching a 20 minute episode and then going to do something and then coming back. Or watching two 20-minute episodes and then going to do things and then coming back. is much easier than watching. And I don't really like watching a movie and pausing it, going to do stuff and come back to the movie because, you know, sometimes you forget what's going on or whatnot. But with the, um, with, you know, TV series like Entourage and uh, Home Improvement and stuff, you can watch just a short 20-minute episode and then go do something and not miss out on anything and restart it. Although Entourage, I think, is like an hour or an episode or something. But, uh, good stuff. I don't think, I really haven't looked. I don't think Home Improvement, I'm not sure what the special features are. Because it's not, I'm not sure, but this is how I, this is how he bought it. Shrink wrapped. And I haven't really looked online. You know, see this comes out. And then it opens like this. But I don't know if it's, um, I think there might have been another, another cover over it. I really haven't had a chance to look this over. But anyway, I hope to watch it soon. You know, I've only seen, like I said, I've only seen a couple of episodes on, well, not a couple, but ep uh, episodes on TBS, which I think they're, they, the ones I saw were in last season. Next, are, I got eight Blu-rays. And you'll see why I bought them, why I bought eight at one time, uh, real quickly. But, um, Dawn of the Dead, I got, because I have to, I have to own Dawn of the Dead and every, I've owned every 